Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. C3 Nick uh, had put this tweet out today and I thought that it was very uh, a pretty important thing. Yale Endowment, now remember those of you that don't know, the Yale Endowment has invested in cryptocurrencies as well as Harvard and Stanford and all of the big ones have invested in cryptocurrency. That should tell you plenty by itself. But what he's pointing out here, he says, Yale, Yale's endowment has invested in two funds dedicated to cryptocurrencies, as reported in October 2018. One of these funds is called A16Z, which states, if there is another crypto winner, we'll keep investing aggressively. And what he's referring to here is, I, I went to a16crypto.com, which is their website. And it's very clearly in here when they introduced uh, when they introduced their crypto fund uh, down here. It says we have an all weather fund. We plan to invest consistently over time, regardless of market conditions. If there's another crypto winner, we'll keep investing aggressively. Now these guys, Yale is 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 uh, the their endowment fund is run by people who are who have to answer to some of the most powerful people in the world. These are very responsible investors that have a lot of liability in terms of doing their due diligence to make investments on behalf of Yale. And so these aren't people that just halfway go into investments. These are people that are serious and smart and extremely connected. These are the, some of the most important people in the world are a part of this. And if you think that they're not, this is, <laughs> The digital asset investor is doing what they're doing. I'm investing in crypto winner, so it makes me feel good. I'm in good company. And I've told you many times before, uh, in this bear market, no matter what the FUD articles say, just know that the wealthy people, the smart money, the very smart money, they're investing while they're trying to scare all of you guys. I'm not saying they in, in terms of Yale. I'm, I'm just saying while all these FUD articles are coming out, the smart people are are all in they're buying right now and they're buying so that we can't see they're buying over the counter and so just this is a that was a good tweet for c3 nick as a reminder of what of how how the the smart money thinks um next i wanted to show you this just briefly binance versus coinbase competition escalates as binance enables card payments this is about binance enabling credit card purchases but i just wanted to show you this volume chart the rise of Binance, uh, proportion total 24 hour USD volume. Bi this is the volume of Binance versus this green is Coinbase Pro. And then this is Kraken. The, the next in line is Bitfinex to Binance. But it shows you, this is a very, um, this is very illustrative of what happens when you listen to your customers instead of running your business with some ideology that has nothing to do with supply and demand and what your customers are asking for. A lot of firms out there could take a lesson from Bonnet, a lot of lessons from Bonnet. Um, okay, I showed you, I, I talked about this this morning and I forgot to make the most obvious point about this. This was about that Satoshi's round table where some of the people um, in the Bitcoin community were want to have a supply increase. And I didn't ask the obvious question, how can you just, how can a, a couple of guys in the Bitcoin community or, or a, a group, how is it possible, all these guys ever talk about is how decentralized Bitcoin is. How is it possible for them to agree on having an increase if they're truly decentralized? And the answer is that they're not decentralized. And that's the only reason they can have this conversation. And I'll let David Schwartz, a guy much smarter than me, say it in his words, there's no ultimate say in a decentralized system. As I've argued, most incentive systems actually lead to centralization, as we have seen with pr pr proof of work. That's exactly what's going on. He says, the, the, with, if it's actually decentralized, there is no ultimate say in that system. 
but they are literally acknowledging here that they could get together and have a say, and that's because they're not decentralized. And the point he's made, David Schwartz is making, is that it it leads when when there's incentive based systems like mining, it leads to centralization. And what they're talking about, and they have no idea, they're literally having a discussion about increasing supply, and they have they do not realize just like the guys that were fighting over Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash, um, uh, or Bit, I think that's what it was, Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Cash, they're, they're literally, um, they don't realize it, but just by virtue of their discussion of this war, and I'm going to win for this reason, you're going to win for this reason, I want the supply to increase, you don't want the supply, just by virtue of that conversation, they're admitting that they're not decentralized. They're very centralized. Um, so I just thought that that was a point that needed to be driven home. Okay, this is cool. Um, this is from Kim Possible XRP at Kim XRP Possible. <laughs> okay, roll out SBI clients all receiving their Cool X wallets on your mark, and she shows the Cool X wallet. Now, for those of you that don't know what this is, um, I remember. I think I want to say SBI bought. Cool X wallet got, bought the company that it's like a little credit card wallet. What I do not know the answer to, and some of you out there will know the answer to, is SBI is about to roll. SBI is about to go live in March. Are they providing cool wallets for the people that open accounts with them, or are they just uh, letting them know that they can go and buy a, a Cool X wallet to store their digital assets that they do purchase on SBI? I don't know the answer to that, and probably some of you out there do. While we're there, XPR, uh, XRP researcher at XRP underscore, XRP news underscore, um, he, he put out a, a few more figures that, I, that we didn't see yesterday about this SBI rollout. Let's compare SBI to some more traditional platforms. SBI, 23 million. Coinbase, 13.3 million. These are the customers. Charles Schwab, 10.6 million. Fidelity, 28 million. TD Ameritrade, 11 million. E-Trade, 3.7 million. This is what we literally have being rolled out to 23 million people, folks. And I think that at this time, there is something very important that the XRP community should tackle. And that is how CoinMarketCap is going to handle the SBI truly going live. We need to know because remember, um, coin, remember coin market cap last year in the middle of the bull run that just decided without telling anyone that they were going to take the largest XRP market over there in Korea. They were just going to take that out of the calculation on coin market cap. So many people woke up, they go to sleep one night and XRP is at one price. They wake up and it's shaved. I don't remember what it was, 50 to 75 cents, just like that. And so people woke up to different numbers and it freaked the market out. And they literally, from that point until today, XRP has been in the bear market. And none, a lot of us will never forget that from coin market cap. So I'm here. I want to know the answer to this because this is important. Look how, let's look, go back and look how big this is. SBI has 23 million customers. SBI Holdings owns part of Ripple. So this is going to be a huge part, huge part of affecting the XRP price, whether it's in the immediate run, the short run, medium run, long run. One way or another, it's going to be a big influence on the XRP price. That's just the way it is. Well, then the question is, because coin market cap has a certain responsibility. These some a lot of these exchanges like Binance are not um, US based. And so they can't use the excuse that they're not including the volume from SBI because they're not in the United States. That's not an excuse. A lot of these exchanges that they include the volumes of on coin market cap are not US based. And so uh, so far, SBI, to my knowledge, is not the, the volumes from SBI do not show on coin market cap. But this cannot, this has to change because it's going to be such a big part of the XRP price. And, and not just XRP, but Bitcoin and Ethereum, to my knowledge, Bitcoin and Ethereum are also going to be on there. So 
since we know that coin market cap, as I've shown you before, since we know that they are obviously proof of work guys and Bitcoin maximalists or proof of work maximalists anyway, because they don't accept donations in XRP. They stand to benefit from this too. So they may not have near the problem to add SBI into this, but we still need to ask the question. Um, and that is what I'm asking right here. Hi, hi corn market. Will you be including SBIV volume on your site? The volume should be very significant to the world market and they are set to open in March. So I'm going to tweet that out. Um, and that's not, I'm not trying to pick on coin market cap. I just want us to have a real honest market. And that, if you're not reflecting something that has this kind of customer base potential, you, th these numbers don't mean anything if they're not, if they're not showing the actual, um, the actual numbers from major players around the world. Okay, I wanted to show you this real quick. Bitcoin volumes reach all-time high in Venezuela. Well, I'm not going to go too far into this other than to tell you, I've been telling you, one of the, one of the things that is going to be probably larger than anything for digital assets is going to be all the debts that, have, that these countries around the world have put their countries in, and they, the, the ultimate destination of all of that destruction is going to be people losing faith in their governments and losing faith in their currencies. There is no one in the world who has lost more faith in their currency than Venezuela. I've seen videos of their, their fiat on the ground in a trash pile uh, over the last few months. These people have lost faith in their currency. And what are they turning to? Bitcoin volumes reach all-time high in Venezuela. And that will happen worldwide because it's not just Venezuela. The United States is in, is in more debt than any country in the history of the world. 20-something trillion dollars that will never be paid off. And that is to the benefit of digital assets, period. I wanted to finally show you this. Um, I'm not sure who this is. I think it's the CEO of Proppy, but she posted this. Um, and I'll show you this. This is on um, a video in Times Square or, or a uh, advertisement blockchain making transactions safer and faster on the NASDAQ board there in, in Times Square. So how cool is that? There's what adoption, the beginning of adoption looks like. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that coin market cap must include SBI virtual currency volume. Thank you for listening.